December 28th, 2021. I want you guys to see what it looks like up in Upper Moon Ridge. I'm getting a couple snow flurries. So that's why I'm, I'm doing the video, but look at how much snow they already have. They could get another five feet of snow up here, guys. So I don't know if I'm gonna be coming up here. I'm gonna try my best, but I'm not sure. But yeah, we're getting some snow flurries up here. Look at how much snow they got up here already. Holy moly. So we're, we're gonna do this video and then we're gonna do it going down. Going down is the part that scares me. But I wanted to come up here before the storm just to see what it's like up here right now. Hang tight, you guys. All right, guys, so we're in Upper Moon Ridge still. We are going. Back down, but we're gonna go up and around. Look at how much snow they already have up here. Holy moly, you guys. Even if we didn't have snow flurries falling right now, I think I still would have recorded this for you guys just because there's so much snow up here. It's truly incredible. I mean, look at this. It looks like mammoth. up here right now I don't know if you guys can see the snow flurries falling but with my hand out the window I can feel them for sure and guys I beg of you one thing I need to get some sleep so some of the important questions that need to be answered about chains and stuff like that for those of you that are very helpful on on the channel please 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 make those responses for me for the next few hours because everything's supposed to start just after midnight and I'm not even gonna work today. I have to, I have to sleep. I have to sleep or it's gonna be so dangerous for me in this next storm. I will respond eventually, but it probably won't be in a timely fashion when people need to know right away some certain things. So I'm really begging you guys to please help me because I don't wanna let any of you down. God, this is epic, you guys. Look at how much snow. That's what everything's going to look like if the storm pans out the way it's supposed to. We're in first gear. I'm so nervous about going down though, jeez. At least it didn't look that icy going down. But still, God, look at all the snow. Look at that. Incredible. There's nothing like this down at my house, and this isn't that much higher than my house. Maybe 500, to, well, maybe a little more than 500 feet. Okay, so let's slow down, make sure we don't run through the stop sign accidentally because big trucks like that. Flurries are coming down. You guys, this is exciting. But I am so beyond tired, you have no idea. If I can literally just get like two hours of sleep, I'll be good. I'll be good for another 24 hours. But Obviously, I am going to drive in some pretty gnarly places, but I'm going to try to avoid some of the really, really steep hills if I can, but obviously, I probably won't because I usually just go all out. It's kind of an obsessive-compulsive disorder, self-diagnosed. Some of the parts 
that are a little bit steep going down, so we gotta be extra cautious. You can pull over a little more. All right. All righty then. Seriously, I, I, I need to go get some food. I haven't eaten either. Maybe that'll help me out. Seriously, it's like all I focus on is just responding to the comments and working. YouTube is not my work. It's my pleasure. Believe it or not, I have a full-time gig up here that I created myself. A lot of people think that I just sleep all day and then do these YouTube videos. It's not the case at all. Not at all. Alright, so this is the road that I'm saying is just is, is, is dangerous and scary and I've, I've almost lost control right around this corner before going down. So I'm going to try and stay in the middle here. It's a lot steeper than it looks. steep road just to avoid the Bear Mountain traffic because a bunch of people are going to be leaving Bear Mountain right now. Well, we made it through the first hard part, thank goodness. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But this is, you know, that was Upper Moon Ridge and we're in like Middle Moon Ridge area and they still have a ton of snow here. You guys, I'm serious, at the very top up there where we just were, they could get five feet of snow just from this one storm. I mean, literally twice as much as we'll get where I live. If we're lucky, we'll get two and a half feet, if we're lucky. But I don't. Even, I think we might get a foot. I'll be grateful if we get a foot. I will. Okay, we're not going to turn left here. That's dangerous right there. We're gonna go straight through here. God, people are flying, you guys. It seems like it's the old me, every one of these other drivers. I wanna be a good example for you guys. And you guys have helped me become a better man by being more responsible and thinking about other people instead of just always myself. So thank you guys. And I didn't do it on purpose, honestly. It wasn't like a conceit, like I'm better than, than you or this and that. It's just I'm experienced doing this and sometimes I get very impatient. But you guys are teaching me to be really patient and I owe you guys so much. I'm very grateful for you all. So now we're on uh, Cougar which turns into Fox Farm. Cougar, baby. So look, this can get nasty too. Once again, it's a lot steeper than it looks. But we're trying to avoid all the traffic. Coming up, you're good. But there's a lot of kids on this street, so a little nerve-wracking because you know if they sled out in the middle and, and, and I have to slam on slam on the brakes even going 14 or 15 miles an hour like I'm going right now it, it, it's still I won't be able to stop so that's why I'm just doing the best I can to go as slow as I can now we're out of first gear I just put it back in drive baby Woo. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of like the calm before the storm video, I guess. But we got some snow flurries.
look at how compared to up there how much snow we have down here it's like nothing compared to up there it's truly amazing how much more snow they get just up in those little hills right there oh we timed this beautifully i'm not usually i would go in front of this guy but i'm not going to guys i'm a good example now i'm you i'm only been waiting for the next guy what are you guys doing to me The reason I like to speed up a little bit on this road is because when I slow down to turn up here, cars behind me don't slow down. So I just want to make sure there's no one close. Anyway, you guys, peace out. I hope you enjoyed all that snow we just saw. That's a lot of snow up there and they're going to get a ton more. I'll find some way to freaking get up there, I hope, <laughs> during this next storm. But as I said, for those of you that could help answer some of the really cru crucial questions while I'm sleeping, please please do that for me. Thank you. I love you all very much.